dispersion. Now dispersion is a phenomenon in which light disperses into its individual wavelengths. So we define this phenomenon as when the speed of a wave depends on the wavelength of a wave or refractive index of a medium then the phenomenon is called is dispersion. Now when we throw light on a prism then the light splits into its individual colors and this is actually due to dispersion. Now when we look at the diamond and the brilliance or the shine in diamond then it is partly due to dispersion and partly it is due to refraction. When we look to the rainbow, then inside rainbow we are having some contribution from reflection, some from refraction of light and some from dispersion of light. So all these three contribute in order to produce colors in the rainbow and diamond dispersion plus reflection and prism only dispersion takes place in the colors actually splits. Now as I know that M is equal to C over V then I can write that for C it is F lambda and then this is V here and I can write from here that C is equal to F lambda or F is equal to C over V here so C over lambda so C equals F lambda now if I multiply this with 2 pi then it will become 2 pi f while here I will have to multiply by 2 pi and it will be 2 pi c over lambda. I can write this c over lambda over 2 pi. So this 2 pi goes down here. Now I know that 2 pi f is actually defined as omega and this is c and 1 over 2 pi over lambda. I define this or uh, from here I can write the 2 pi over lambda is actually k, the wave number. So omega equals ck. We call this the dispersion relation. This is the dispersion relation and this is the dispersion relation. Now I can also write that is m is proportional to 1 over v and here m is proportional to lambda over v. I can write from this equation that f lambda is c over n. So I can write that f lambda f lambda is equal to c over n is equal to v. So f lambda is equal to c over n from here and v will be here. So I can see from here that f and c are constant so I can write that here that v is proportional to lambda 
and n is proportional to 1 over lambda. So when wavelength, different wavelength travels a different speed inside a medium, dispersion occurs. And inside a prism, we see that this is a prism and when light, white light enters here, then this light in this range different different wavelengths are here in this white light so they will travel at different speeds here and also refraction will occur here because from a high refractive index from a lower refractive index we are going into a high refractive index so the bending the refraction will occur and also splitting of colors will occur and we will have a band of colors that will go out from here. So it will be a band of different colors here and this phenomenon we call is dispersion. When wavelength of light depends, when the speed depends, the speed of a wave depends on the wavelength of light we call it dispersion.